Hi, welcome to Gotta Ping, a careers podcast you should listen to if you want to grow your career online and offline. Hi, my name is Mei Ping, and I'm a professional career coach and international speaker with more than a decade of experience at some of the biggest companies in the world. To learn more about what I do, visit meiping.com. That's M E I P H I N G. dot com. All right, let's jump right into today's episode. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Got a Pink Careers podcast. So in today's podcast, I want to talk about confidentiality, and if this is something that we should even care about nowadays, because on social media, I'm seeing a trend of people basically talking about a lot of items on their personal life. Um, they tend to share a lot about their company as well in terms of the nature of their job. What they are actually doing.、Um, uh, for some posts that I've seen, is quite detailed as well. So today, I really want to talk about: Does it matter? And basically, should you be should you be even doing it? Right? Does is there a line around confidentiality, or it's pretty much open and you can say whatever you want because it's a free platform. So my my perspective is this: I think at the end of the day, if you are a corporate professional, you need to remember the contract that you have signed to join the company. So, what I mean by contract is pretty much the、um, the job offer and the employment contract that you have signed and agreed to the terms and conditions that、um, you would. You know, behave in a certain way, and you will also you also agree to the、um, various policies that the company has put in place. So there's of course some questions around. Oh, you know, what is ethical, and is it fair that companies tell us what we should or shouldn't do? Well, this consideration you shouldn't be thinking about it right after you have joined the company. You should be really asking yourself even before joining the company: Have you really considered the culture? And if that is the kind of company that、um, maybe would align with your other ambitions, so when I mean other ambitions, it could be more entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial ambitions.、Um, some people they want to transition into business or entrepreneurship at some point, and that also defines the things that they do on social media. Or for some other people, they are very enthusiastic about. Um, establishing themselves as a bit of an influencer. So, of course,、um, depending on what your goals are, that would also affect what you say and do, and to what extent that you want to、um, move out of that comfort zone beyond the、um, standard corporate professional. But I say that all in all, don't forget what is your main、um, ambition. So, if your main ambition is still Pursuing a career,、uh, pursuing a corporate career, make sure that you are not distracted by a lot of the noise that you see on different social media platforms, be it Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and all the other social media platforms. So recently on LinkedIn, I ran a poll on whether is it acceptable to share your offer letter online. And surprisingly, and I guess maybe not as surprising to a lot of people, but surprising to me, there were about eighty percent of people voted that、um, you should not share your offer letter online because it's a breach of confidentiality, and it's just inappropriate. And there, of course, there are much better ways to celebrate a win,、uh, celebrate that you have gotten a new job. So I definitely agree with this perspective.、Um, the reason why I said that I was surprised is because、um, on LinkedIn I do see a lot of people who endlessly share their job offer letter, and there's just a lot of private and confidential information in there, including、um, sometimes name, IC number, address. Um, the information about the company's、um, systems and even the、um, various hiring managers as well. So, just wanted to remind everybody that、um, sometimes the noise that you see, meaning different people who are sharing this kind of、um, 
uh, posts and content out there, it may not always represent the majority and it may not always represent the perspective of a proper cor corporate leader if that is that is your goal in terms of like um, career growth, right? So just make sure that you are taking advice from people who have the kind of success that you are looking for and not get too distracted by a lot of things that is happening on um, social media nowadays. So personally for me, if you ask me whether confidentiality, does it matter or not to me, very, very important. It really matters because it is down to your reputation and your integrity and basically how much you can be trusted as a loyal team member ready to um, ready to really invest your time, energy and really prove your, I guess, loyalty for or lack of a better word to your team, to your department, to your company, to the organization that you are currently working in. So even though we are seeing a lot of um, noise and you see a lot of people sharing a lot of um, different kind of post content and stories um, from the uh, more storytelling standpoint, but the question that you should ask yourself is whether if a hiring manager, is, if a corporate leader, if a senior manager or somewhere of a company that maybe you're um, interviewing at picks up a piece of content that you have posted, maybe it's your offer letter from a previous job or something else. Or maybe I've even seen people sharing like, you know, project documents, and I'm not sure how appropriate it is to share because at the end of the day, everything that you are you have done as part of your role in that company, that is actually the company's intellectual property. For those of you who may not realize it, actually that is part of the company's um, intellectual property. So if you're seeing people sharing this kind of thing out there and if you want really want to ask yourself you know if this is appropriate or not just imagine yourself going to an interview in the future and all of these posts all of these information sharings that you thought were really cool at that time if those were brought out to you for an explanation would you be comfortable sharing that or the thought of that actually is creating a lot of stress and anxiety for you right now. Because remember that a lot of things that we do, there are repercussions, there are things that, um, yeah, there is that basically what I'm trying to say is that there is an impact to the actions that we take today and how it impacts our career, right? Maybe, you know, a couple of months, maybe even years down the road because every single thing that you put online, it is discoverable, it is searchable, right? Whether you like it or not. So yes, to a certain extent, right, we can say that, oh, you know, it's a freedom of choice, freedom of speech, I can say whatever I want. Yes, if you have not signed the, um, the job offer and if you have not signed the employment contract, if you are a freelancer, hundred, I mean, like a full-time freelancer or you are your own boss, of course, right? Then you make your own rules, whatever, whatever floats your boat, right? Just do it. But if you are a corporate professional, you have signed the job offer, you have signed the employment contract, just make sure that you remember that you are a company employee first. Right? You represent your team, your department, your company, your organization, and every single piece of document that you handle as part of being in that role during working hours, outside of working hours, as the moment that you, have, you are employed, that means that you have an obligation to make sure that these information, documents, reports, or whatever materials you want to call it, those do fit the confidentiality bill. So um, just... Take note, um, this is something that I think a lot of times people tend to forget because there is this very popular um, popular mindset or rather, um, po yeah, I guess it is a popular habit of, and of um, I guess, influencers, marketers, encouraging people to just, you know, share your successes, you know, let everybody uh, celebrate with you. Yes, I think there is a there is a time and place for that, but I think nowadays it's just a little bit too much, and I think a lot of people are looking for that short term celebration, but they may have forgotten that it does also impact their professional reputation down the road. So, um, so before we end today's podcast, I just want to ask, uh, I want to maybe leave a question to to all of you. Um, 
And the question is this, if, if some of the things that you have, you have um, shared today, if that gets pulled out a couple of years down the road, do you think that will help your professional reputation or it will damage your professional reputation? Right, so the question is very simple. If some of the things that you have said and shared online till today, right, if it's pulled out a couple of years down the road, do you think it will help your professional reputation or do you think it will make it worse? Right, really think about it. I leave you with this question. And like I said, a lot of things that we say and do today, there is an impact, be it positive or negative, on our career down the road. So with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank you for listening to this episode. For more awesome content like this, remember to like and subscribe. Also, head on over to my website, meiping.com, that's M-E-I-P-H-I-N-G.com, and subscribe to my weekly newsletter for more career growth and personal development tips. You can find the links in the description box below. Once again, you're listening to Got A Ping, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!